King Philip, the British name for Chief Menacom, took his place as Chief of the Wapanog. His father forged peace with the colonies. However, they continued to expand. Metacom believed this was a break of alliance. John Sassamon, a converted Native American interpreter, warned colonists of the impending attacks by Metacom. They did not listen. Soon he was found dead. Blaming Metacom for his death, the colonists killed three of Metacom's warriors. This brought tensions to a boiling point. The war had started. Both sides carried out raids on each other's settlements, burning fields and towns down. Instances of torturing warriors and killing civilians were common for both parties. Plymouth was devastated. Providence was burned to the ground, and soon it seemed the colonists would be pushed to the coast. The Narragansett was a group of natives who wanted to stay neutral. Due to some of their warriors joining Medicom, the colonists went to their capital, burning villages along the way. This was the Great Swamp Fight. After much fighting, the colonists got into the walls. Women and children were killed and the capital burned. The Narragansett then joined the war fully. So did many other Native Americans on both sides. As the war progressed to summer, many of the natives tired from war surrendered. Many were sold into slavery. Finally, Medicom was killed in battle. His head was put on a spike in Plymouth. Resistance fell apart afterwards. The war was the bloodiest per person in American history. 2,500 plus colonists and 5,000 plus natives lost their lives, this including civilians. Around a dozen settlements for each side destroyed, many more damaged, and a couple hundred natives were enslaved. While the bloodshed was significant, the New England colonies made an alliance before the war and worked together to fight off Philip without any British support. This strengthened ideas of self-sufficiency. This was also considered the last time Native Americans would majorly resist colonial expansion in New England. From here on out, Native Americans would be pushed west and west as the new U.S. needed to manifest its destiny.